Hey up everybody, Voxesto here and we're doing another low profile build but this time we're on the centre map. I've had a few like subscribers say or viewers just say like oh can you do one on the centre and then someone said wee let's, let's can you do one with a dino pen and stuff like that so yeah here it is. So basically we're on the centre, it's going to be sneaky and let's have a look where we are. So we are at 27.160.4 and I've got the map out for no apparent reason <laughs> you can't see anything right so to start off with we want to be looking at this cliff face here and we want to be placing some foundations and we don't want to end up clipping that top bit what sticks out so just anywhere around here make sure it's going to line up quite nice I mean you can clip it a little bit and you can get away with it but you don't want to clip it too much now what we will do is we'll do the old double foundation trick you can probably get away with three foundations maybe even more whoops that didn't work there you go look use the old Q to a uh, bloody blink and then just demolish these two thought I heard something who dead? there's no one right okay that was a bit weird Right, now I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, foundations. So, um, what, one of my comments the other day was uh, someone said, oh, you can now toggle through snap points with hitting the Q key. So I was like, oh, bosh on that. So cheers, mate. That's like super handy. I can't believe that's actually a thing now. It's amazing. But as you can see, like that middle one, I didn't even bother doing it because it's in the middle of the base. You don't need to do the middle ones. You're just wasting materials like me when I place them wrong but you know that's just a thing isn't it don't worry about me then we'll go here and here so we've got two by four looks pretty nice for a starter we're definitely going to be going a lot wider than this right so we'll just get some ceilings in here because it's a bit too low for the old foundations so we double ceiling because we've got two foundations so we can easily bang two ceilings on them that one snaps off the other and you know Bob's your uncle and if you can't get that snap point just put it in place hit Q that's like my favorite thing in the game now it's like the biggest time saver in the world I mean sometimes it's still like bugs out and it's like nah I don't want to put it there but you know it's, it just does what it wants so I'm just gonna ask my Anki so I'm just going to throw some uh, pillars down. I'm like paranoid today, I don't know why. I feel like someone's watching me. Obviously you guys are, and that's a good thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's throw these down. We should be able to get some, some double foundations in here as well. Nearly went wrong there, didn't I? You see that? Nearly ruined that. Right, so at least we've got the double foundation on the front bit, look, Q don't even want to work. Alright, I did the... that's cool. So that still keeps us proper protected. Because double foundation means double strength. Well, double health, not double strength. It's not Your foundations isn't going to be punching people. <laughs> or lifting weights or anything. Don't get over excited people, they are still just foundations. Alright, so we can get another couple here, so that's really good. And then we're just going to go as far as we can to that tree, really, without ruining it. Now, there's a lot of places on the centre where you can glitch through walls and stuff, but I don't really want to be showing any of them because, you know, they're sort of things what probably will get fixed along the way. And, you know, you'll be downhearted if you go to build there and you spend a lot of time there and then you log in one day and, oh, look, a fix has dropped and now all your stuff's gone. So... Well, I'm going to try and steer away from them. I found a fantastic place, actually. What isn't even a glitch, but unfortunately, it doesn't let you place anything in there. But you could use it to store, like, pteranodons and argies and stuff. So, I could show you that at some point, if you wish. But, you know, that's, uh, that's not... But You know, you, you could build a little base in front of it, but it's quite open. It's not very sneaky, so... Right. I will just try to get this last one in. I don't know why that doesn't want to place. I think it might actually be too high to place that other one. So 
let's just throw some ceilings on top so we've got a little bit of extra oomph because if them foundations go the ceilings will still stand so that's a nice thing it don't it don't matter how ugly it is people sometimes with pvp being pretty isn't always the key i mean like here we've got multiple snap points but i'm just gonna get look we can snap on the outside or twice on the inside you know this is this is internal stuff though you don't have to like overly defend your internal stuff that's like not the end of the world sort of business I do want to get one there though it's quite bad being there oh look we can put a ceiling there alright then pop a ceiling there pop a wall on that ceiling there you go lovely and obviously you could probably get like another wall on there as well if you wanted to but I'm going to try and make this as short as possible because if I do absolutely everything like doubled or tripled or even four four times as thick you know the video is going to go on forever and I don't want to skip too much for you guys because sometimes you see these build videos and it's like right place your walls like this they do like one wall and then out of nowhere all the walls are done and it's you know there might be a corner what gets a bit tricky or something so this is just how it is you know, there's there's nothing new or nothing old about this. It's just it's just showing you exactly how it is and how it works. So what we're doing right now is we're just throwing in um, just the uh, fence foundations, really, just to get them all down, so we can definitely double wall with ease, and not have to worry about anything. Because that you know that the external walls you need them to be at least two walls thick. I mean, with doing this technique, you can snap. You can snap more than what I'm doing. You can get some like out more outside ones snapped on. I like them on the inside because I don't know. It just looks in my in my opinion, it looks a bit nicer. Sometimes it sometimes you can get away with it looking like you haven't actually got the uh, fence foundations in. So you sort of trick people a little bit with that. So we'll get some walls. And I'll show I'll show you how how it happens. Obviously, most of you watching this, have, you know how to do it. Anyone who watches arc videos or build videos and PvP stuff, they they all know the drill. It's common practice. I mean, you just snap one on the back, snap one on the front. There you go, two walls. I mean, you can you can do it with doors, so you can have two doors, but we're not going to bother. We're just going to go straight round with walls get them all in this side's going to be too high now as you can see I don't know if like it's, it's popping up a bit bit higher in places that's cool that is absolutely cool because we can pick the lower wall to go off first with well the higher wall to go off first with the ceilings get the ceiling all flat with the highest point and then we can put the lower point in so we've got like a double ceiling and I mean you can you can do this to your heart's content you can you can do double triple quad whatever you want whatever you've got the time and the resources for people and then this back bit obviously match the same uh, height of the roof so we're going three on this one because the other one was two and there's that little step in the middle and it's looking all good now we need to get some ceiling bits see they stick out a little bit but we'll flush that off at the end don't worry about it See, look, this is what I mean, look. You see how they pop out, like, on the corner? Well, it, you sort of saw what I meant, what I was talking about earlier. So, let's get the dino gates in. We're going to double dino gate it. Now, there is going to be, we'll get some ceilings as well. There is going to be something you notice I'll do on here, and this is like, a lot of people say, oh, well, you can do this, but... I don't like. I'll show you why I don't like to do it. Because you might think it's odd, but you'll understand. Just remembered I needed ramps as well, didn't I, to get up that step? All right. So you want your dino gate in? Well, we'll put this in first, so we can get that ramp. I think. What do you reckon? This side or that side? I think that side, nice and snug against there. That looks all right, doesn't it? And we can get up here. Yeah, let's do these ceilings real quick. So you see, that's the lower one. That's the higher one. 
So if we get rid of that, we can, we can snap off the higher one and get that going all the way across. So I think that's done the lower one. Yeah, it has. But as you can see, look, it doesn't break the other one, so you, you get double thickness on your ceiling. So it's you know it's twice as hard to get into. So I'm just going to bosh them all in. Don't it don't really matter for the sake of this because you know you can see how it's done. It's quite easily doable, and I don't want this to. Oh, that's a bit. Okay, so I guess the tree clips there. We'll, we'll get around this. See, I mean, I, I, ju I just wing these builds, people. So, you know, I'm going to come across problems. What? That ain't even at the top. It's trees in the way, isn't it? I'll come across problems. What you might come across yourself when building in a place like this. So, I think it's good for me to come across problems because then you see how I'd work around like the problems I've, I've just found. So, for this. I'd say just. Hmm. I wonder if I could get the. Uh... Oh, that is the lowest one, isn't it? Okay. I was going to say I wonder if the lowest lower one would snap there, but it doesn't look like it would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that there. Pop some walls on. I need to go get them though. Quick jog. Keep fit. <laughs> Raz back around there. Oh, that's awkward. Don't knock these trees down, whatever you do. And if they fall down, plant some re-fertiliser or something, get them back. Right, we're just going to wall that off. Obviously, you can double wall them, triple wall them, do, you know, you know the drill. And then later on, we'll uh, we'll flush that off at the top as well. Because we, we could just sit like a turret, a couple of turrets in there. Now, this is what I was talking about with the gates. I've got them fence foundations, so it's a snappable point. It will snap to that point. Now I don't want it to do that. And you'll see exactly why, because if I snap to that point, the ceiling's only three high the walls are only three high, so the ceiling's quite low. It'll be lower than the actual gate itself, so are you really not gonna let me jump and just get rid of this? That's so annoying. I'm not acrobatic enough. Right, so I'm going to get rid of these so I don't have that snapping point because you don't need them on this bit. You know, you could put them in afterwards if you want, but they're not, you know, we're not gaining anything from them. So let's get rid of that so you can see a bit more of what's going on. Now, look, now it doesn't snap. So you can get flush against the building. I mean, don't go this deep in because you won't be able to put a gate in there. I'm literally showing you this, people, because I know how many gates I've got, so I'm, I, I can afford to just waste it. It's not a thing for me, is it? But you you might end up going to build it and place it and be like, oh, no, I can get that in loads better, but you know, it's, it's not going to let you. So as soon as that turns green, that will be clipping. Just trust yourself. Let's have a look. There you go. Lovely. Nice and straight. Do you know what? That's probably the best thing I've ever placed without going into K mode. <laughs> Need to go get another gate now, though, because I just got rid of that one, didn't I? That was done. Right. So, now with this one, we should be able to just place it. Don't let it snap. Just place it as close as you can. I think that's going to be it. Yeah. Closest point. Don't matter if it's bang, bang on centre. Then put the gate in. And then they both open. And look, it's perfect. It's double gate. Look at that. They, they touch in. They do the job, don't they? I mean, you could, you'd probably want to do something about that one corner. Because that's a little bit of a weak spot. So, you know, you could just put stuff like this on it. Put ramps over it. That'll cover it up really nicely for you. So... Let's get on inside and see what we've got ourselves. Oh yeah, rams. See, I don't want to place in one of them spots, but because we've got all these different snapping points, we can just place it wherever we want, can't we? Well, guess not really wherever we want. Where's... I ain't got any more rams. Oh, that's annoying. Well, let's go have a look inside. See what else we might need. Well, we've got our way in, so... Yeah, it's looking alright in here. 
It's a bit bushy at the start, but that's alright. I don't mind that. Right, so, second ramp is in, and I've put some, like, little walkways up there as well. So, what I'd, what I would do, is I'd try, I'd try and get a Jenny under here. Because it's the middle of the base, it's going to be the hardest place for them to get to, because you've got all the stuff in the way. I mean, you can get extra walls to protect it as well, like on the left and right of it now. So, there you go, there's Jenny. It's absolutely lovely. You can't fault that. It pokes out a little bit. I mean, you could wiggle it about and probably find a place where it don't poke out. Now, just snap one of these on it. Don't worry. Alright, I'm feeling... No, sorry, guys. I'm thinking of Structures Plus. <laughs> on Structures Plus, you can just snap them straight on. You don't need to worry about cables. Alright, so... On the normal one, you could go... Ver you, you know, you could go horizontal and keep it in the floor, or you could go vertical so it pops out and then you can see it. I'd personally do both. In case they get in and demolish one, you've got that backup one, haven't you? You could fit two Jennies under there as well if you wanted. But, as for now, that looks pretty nice to me. And then these walkways up here, just to give you a bit of elevation for some of your other stuff so you can cram it all in. I have got that nice bit over there, we're probably... Let's see if we can get some up here. Oh, Q works for that as well. That's really nice. I mean, we could put a couple of turrets on there. That'll be nice. All right, let's get all this stuff into our hot bar so we can start placing the essentials down. I mean, if there's anything I've, I've left out, you know, just just pop it in the comments. Say like, you know, oh, oh well, I would personally put an X and Y in Z and whatever's but I'm just I'm just gonna throw in stuff what I would want with a low profile build like just just the bare necessities to just cope I mean a fabricator you know that's a, that's a pretty good thing we oh, see I mean you've got a lot of places you could put these because you've got to think about not giving away too much drawing too much attention like because obviously they let out a bit of light a little bit of smoke I mean here would be really nice because you could literally run them all the way along I wouldn't put them on top of that shelf because then the smoke's going to come out the top and you don't want that but you could you could put a smithy up there that keeps it out of your way level it out a bit just like that it's quite nice, right next to your fabricator as well. See, I like to use Smithy's storage as well because they got, you know, they've got a lot of room in them. Get a little fridge over here. It's nice. Be careful with fridges, though, people, because sometimes the back sticks out more than you think, and they let off a green light. So, preserving bin. Everybody needs one. It's not just a fridge. That'll get your jerkies. You need your jerkies for your kibbles couple of more on pestles I mean these can go absolutely anywhere and you could have like 20 of them uh, we'll put an industrial grill in here because I'm a chef gotta have my grill <laughs> it's messing about now really isn't it um, I bet we could get a box in there let's have a look oh yeah lovely that's a tight fit, but it's lush. I mean, if you place, you could place like two of two or three of them before you put the grill in. It probably be better. And a couple of beds. I mean, we could cramp them right down. Oh no, it won't let us. Why am I crawling on the floor? I think I'm a snake. You know, beds, are beds, people. Put them where you want. I mean, you could even put one underneath where the Jenny is as well, just in case. And just normal storage boxes as well. You can throw them anywhere, you know. Then they're not really good for like space and stuff, but they got enough storage in them. And they don't take up as much room as the clunky cupboards. Now, oh yeah, we haven't done. We'll put another fridge in. That could just go next to the other one. Don't matter. You got. It's nice to have fridges together. It's quicker. And then a campfire. Hmm. Well, cooking pot. 
I always say campfire. I don't know why I call them that. Well, let's go over here, can't it? Or not, I guess. They've got some funny c collision points, haven't they? Them cooking pots. Well, that, that's coming together. I mean, you'd probably want to get some water up top as well. We'll probably do that in a minute when we go finish the uh, roof itself. Because we've got to put some turrets and stuff up there and flush off that corner a bit. But I mean, you know, anywhere in the trees would be amazing. But it don't really matter too much. Because they're not going to stick out that much so that people are going to go, Oh, look, there's water in. There you go. The water is in. What was that? Right, get these turrets in quick, it'll sort it out. There's a dead argy look what I had to kill. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna place these down like every sort of block. It should be alright, and then you can see this bit here is where I just drop the ceiling down. You can place a couple down there. I mean place as many as you can afford. As many as you can afford and as many as you feel personally necessary. Because you know, if it's if if it's a really bad server, guys, put a lot. Fill the roof. I mean there's a lot of space up here to get plant species X down as well. So make the most of it. Oh look at that. I was a bit close to the edge there, weren't I? So that's just rounded like the front bit off a bit. We'll do the gate as well, we'll just pop a couple in here, not amazing. But as you can see, look, you've got all that wall space as well, you can put a load of things sticking out, a load of uh, catwalks sticking out. It depends It depends how harsh the server is really, it, that's all there is to it. And then, obviously place some inside as well guys. Inside makes a massive difference to getting raided someone pops the roof off, off your place or pops the door off and then they get inside and they've got to deal with even more turrets you know nine times out of ten they're just gonna get fed up because they're gonna waste so many resources there you go look two up there they're nice probably get one here we could actually put another one there because that's not gonna block us and it's facing right at the front door so they come in and they're like, oh no, I drilled. Yeah, that'd do them in, wouldn't it? Especially if they're just on foot. That'd hurt. And then obviously, if, wherever you haven't used space, just pop turrets in. You know, it, the more you, it's, it's not going to make it any worse the more you have. So we'll have one up there. We'll probably have one up here because we're not, you know, we ain't got any more forges to place. So. We've got loads of turrets in our pockets. He's going to shoot our fridge. No, fridge. No. Right. Less messing about. <laughs> One in the corner. It's lovely. Looks a bit spiderweb in here, but it's alright. And look, that water comes down as well. Right where that electrics is. It's like health and safety gone mad the right there, look. Water on the electrics bad news but look as you can see I've got a pteranodon in here quite happily let's get it out I've got an RG in here quite happily let's get it out if I can fit these three like small dinos in here you can you could you could probably fit four in there if you was you know at a push but like necessity wise every, everyone wants to keep their Anki safe so right okay so I guess placing all that stuff above it has actually made it go a bit loopy so maybe scrap that uh, catwalk up there or maybe put it in first and don't put it in over the top of the uh, Anki let's see if it'll just come to us come on No? Okay. Now I think I think I think one of you guys asked for there to be a beaver in here, but obviously 
you know, if, if an RG is in here, a beaver is going to get in here absolutely fine. So, look, and the Anki comes out absolutely perfectly. I mean, you could build another little storage over here for dinos, but I wouldn't bother because it's a little less sort of protected by the trees for viewing that. But look at that. You've got all this space with nothing you have to put in. Right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. We've been going mad recently and I love it. Buzzing off it. Right, so until next time guys, I'll see you later.